Well, friends, there's a truck cranking its air brakes, but you know what? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hey, I'm Pastor Jim, Pastor Kathy and Eric, co-pastors right there. <coughs> We're inviting you to join us for worship this Sunday. We're celebrating communion. Uh, and so we're asking you to join us uh, in our beautiful sanctuary and uh, yeah, 10 o'clock. Uh, adult Sunday School in person and via Zoom at 8.30. And uh, I'm out in the uh, hosta patch today again. Look at how they are just cranking along. Uh, we got flowers there from Deepwell Farm. That was for Mother's Day. Let me do this. I don't know if you can see it. The Stelladoros are starting to do good. I don't know what those are that just are kind of flopping down. That might be leftover daffodils. I'm not sure. But here's our devotional for today. Saw this on Facebook. Thought it was great. Uh, talks about Mark chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. Mark 6, 1 through 3. And this is from the uh, English Standard Version. Not, not a version I usually use. There's a uh, few things with it. But uh, it's, 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 it's pretty good. But uh, I like the New Living Translation, the New International Version, a little bit better. Uh, he, Jesus, went away from there and came to his hometown, and his disciples followed him. And on the Sabbath, he began to teach in the synagogue. And many who heard him were astonished, saying, Where did this man get these things? What is the wisdom given to him? How are such mighty works done by his hands? Is this not the carpenter, the son of Mary and brother of James and Joseph and Judas and Simon? Are not his sisters with us? And they took offense at him. Well, I, one thing that's cool about that is it talks about Jesus's, you know, other siblings. So that was kind of cool. But uh, the point here is uh, it mentions that he was a carpenter, right? It mentions that Jesus was a carpenter has a family, a mother, a heavenly father. He had an earthly father, Joseph, but he mentions all these brothers and sisters and stuff, right? And it says here, this is from uh, Good News Bible Church. You know, it says, Jesus lived like regular folks. He lived like regular folks. He had a job. He was a carpenter. Is this not the carpenter, they said? He's a regular guy living a regular life. In that respect, he's like the rest of us and the people were mad that God was using him to do things the people were mad the religious leaders were mad the te those that taught in the synagogue they were mad that Jesus was doing these great things healing people doing things that God gave him the power and ability to do and here in that uh, green square there I think you can see that in that green square, here's the point I think that this group wanted to make. The notion that ordinary people can be used by God was beyond them. Is it too much for you to believe God might have something for you today? Friends, what is it that God has for you today? Is it too much for you or me or any of us or us as a church Christ's covenant is it too much for us to believe that God might have something for us to do today I'll let you think about that God what is it that you want us to do today we are ordinary people we're teachers students retired accountants uh, firefighters parents grandparents we're ordinary folks. What is it that you want us to do for you today? Is it too much for us to believe that you, God, might have something for us to do today? No, it's not too much because that's the reality. That's We're living in the Holy Spirit right now. The power of, of, uh, of, of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit came upon us and upon the church. What is it, God, that you want us to do today? Put it on our hearts and convict us so that we might do that. God, we pray for a, a few people that we've been praying for. I'm just gonna uh, do a quick little rundown here. God, we are giving you thanks that Phyllis Hall is out of the hospital uh, for those testings that she had. She's in Meadowwood right now. 
We give you thanks that Carolyn Lair is uh, out, of the, uh, out of the nursing home now and back at home. We give you thanks for Sonia Kulikowski, who is still at, the, at, at Gwinnett Square, but she's doing okay. And God, we give you thanks to Tyler Landers, who had that concussion. We were praying about that the other day. Uh, he's back at school, so thank you for that. God, this is the day that you have made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. And God, what is it that you have for us to do today? Amen. Uh, a couple things coming up again. Man, it's a beautiful day. Get out and get some fresh air, folks. It's a beautiful day. Uh, Sunday, as I mentioned, uh, worship 10 o'clock uh, inside. Uh, Sunday school at 8.30 and for adults. And then coming up on the 9th, that's not this Sunday in two days, but in nine days. It's June tomorrow, for crying out loud. Holy mackerel. On June 9th, all kinds of things happening. We're going to have outdoor worship, of course, weather dependent. Outdoor worship, our strawberry picnic, graduate recognition, our semi-annual meeting, all kinds of things. Sign up for what you want to bring and what you can bring. Uh, in, in the narthex and we hope to see so many of you there we hope to see a lot of you at, at church on sunday as well remember just because the weather's nice doesn't mean that you know we're not worshiping together come join us be a community together we're looking forward to it friends look at this hosta spread friends be blessed and be a blessing today